All right, what's going on, guys? Let's cosplay Adaptation to Evolution. We are back with another awesome video. And obviously, if you guys remember, we um, we had a talk with uh, Shelton Benjamin. Obviously, having issues with uh, Triple H and Ric Flair. Uh, I'm actually going to um, change the difficulty up a little bit, so Let's try it. We'll try it on hard and then kind of go from there and then we'll try legend. I think I think normal would just be too easy. So let's go ahead and begin the match. So I got a match against, if you guys can see, let me just, there we go. So I got a match against Ric Flair, obviously, and a submission match. And apparently, oh, it's a uh, GBL John Bradshaw Layfield, one of the best WWE champions. Well, I ain't gonna say that. Um, he actually had one of the best heel turns. I'm not gonna lie. He actually had one of the best ones. Now Kane, obviously, knowing Kane, he's never really been a submission specialist. Yeah, so as you guys well know, Kane is not a submission specialist, so obviously this isn't one of his strongest matches. And here comes the Nature Boy with Triple H, obviously. But obviously knowing that's not going to stop me from trying to win. Um, I did mention this before, I am going to be getting my capture card sometime a week from now. Hopefully it might be sometime earlier, if not. Um, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking towards. Hopefully we can get it by then. If not, then you know, let's we'll try to do do with what we can until the time comes around and it's here. You've got to love Ric Flair. The nature uh uh, can't touch this. Can't touch this. Yeah. yeah. Kane is not one of the easiest guys to fight right now. Oh my god. Take that niche. I feel like the luckiest guy in the world, JR. I can't believe I actually get paid it. It's like you read his opponent's mind. Oh no. I don't know if I can leave the ring to be honest, and if I can, I can't remember. I had to press. I'll admit it. It's a little scary to watch up close, but I love watching Kane go to work. He's practically unstoppable. He's certainly not stopped by conscience, that's for sure. Kane will crush anyone and anything that stands between him and his objective. You say that a reversal. Can he capitalize on it? Oh. How? Ric Flair's held a world championship more times than any other superstar ever. You're telling me that that's not a little dirty dealing? It's more like a little jerk. He saw that one coming. See that coming? These superstars are putting on a great match so far, JR. But if they drop the ball, these fans will let them hear about it. No, you do not. Up in reverse you go. Oh my god. They're not going to let them down. Yeah, but if they don't keep the fans happy. If, if, if wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. But that's not the 
No. I don't know where he thinks he's going. This could be a mistake. No, you don't. CJR, this is exactly why Raw is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. You're absolutely right, King. Gotta find a submission move for this guy. No, you don't. Um, I don't really know if Kenny has a lot of submission moves. That's the bad part. Yeah, I don't think he has any submission moves. That's what's going to make it even worse. Apparently not. He reversed it. Oh my god, and then Nietzsche boy keeps reversing. <laughs> I'll never be able to get that. But Nope. No you don't. No, you don't. This is this is a Oh snap, I forgot about something. Aiming for the knee, Nietzsche. Ric Flair's a 16 time world champion, JR. 16 times. There's not a WWE superstar in history who's done that. Yeah, it's a single one of those titles. These fans can't Don't care, them bust them up. But I think it's great. He's sure not going to win over any fans with that move. But I don't think that's Hope, I'm hoping it would work. Break. I don't know. There we go. Ow. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Ric Flair's beat my butt. But. Oh my god, it's like he keeps reversing everything. That's not what I was trying to do. First things first, you gotta do this tombstone real quick. I think you deserve a tombstone power driver. Up and down. There we go. No, you don't. No, he didn't. What he didn't counter was this choke slam. What he didn't counter was the choke slam I'm about to give him. Up and down. Oh, yes. With the dramatic effect. Yes, sir. Ah, can't be kidding me. Reverse that. There you go. No, sir. Don't think so. Don't think so, Nietzsche. Yeah, if that hurt, how's this feel? Now, it's time to end this, Nietzsche. Uh, no! That's the worst part about Kane when it comes to submission moves, because he has. No. Although, I could probably try something, but it won't work, because I have. I need his finisher, and I can't do that. Try now, hopefully if his foot's not touching it.
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Hey, ow. I over at Flute contemplated that fact. There we go. We got him. All right. We got him. Whew. That was a close one. And it's the lovely Trish Stratus. Series. He's got beaten up. Kane, you're a lot better than that. Oh, uh, John Cena and Big Show. Uh-oh. Oh, not the 16-time champion. If this ever happened in real life, I don't even know if he'd be able to make it. Look at that hard fall. He's broken in half. Ooh, John Cena, you got lucky. Triple H had my back on that one. But that's not now. Tap out? Yeah, that's for, for Ric Flair right there. Should that sound to Flair how he just tapped out to Kane? And like I said, even though Kane's not even a, a, a submission specialist, that's what makes it worse. Like, the dude is not a submission specialist at all. Like, he literally is not a submission specialist. <laughs> Let's go to the locker room real quick. And, um, I take this from Youngboy11 too as well. Um, whatever happens in this, whatever happens in these matches happens. Whether I win or lose, I don't really care. Um, Obviously, the only thing I want to do is be able to get what I need. Andre the Giant. And we only got 22,400, so we also don't have enough for any of these superstars right here. But, we definitely have enough to get some stuff. Ooh, just, cause, just because for Kane. Let's buy that Undertaker motorbike. Ooh, we can take some money as well. We'll take JBL's money. $100 bills. Eh. Carlitos Apple. Nah. No thanks. I'm not. He, he ain't cool enough to be in my locker room. I have to win the Undertaker Earn Trophy to get any of these cutouts. Walls. Bar Brawl Trophy. Wow, we got a lot to do then, don't we? We got a lot to do. Yeah, I collected. We gotta get to collect the Diva Trophy as well, which obviously it would be in this. Let's see. Trophy case. Let's get the medal. Let's get the medal as well. Match veteran trophy. Did that say first? Save that first, real quick. That way, nothing happens if I happen to lose anything. Hopefully, I don't because I didn't want to, didn't want to lose any of that stuff. So now let's customize the locker room. Let's get the trophy case. Let's 
There we go. That. Metal case the wall. There we go. Much better. And then collecting items. It should be. Probably oh, bought anything from there. Nah, I didn't buy anything from there. Should be the furniture. I think. There we go. There we go. Four. No. See if there's anything else. Uh, man, that's fine. We don't have any posters either. Well, except for the original posters. Uh, right now we're obviously raw. Oh. WCW. He was on WCW, obviously. But that was what, um... Actually, no, Kane wasn't on WCW. I don't know why I just said that. He just won the tag two titles. That's what I meant to say. Um, let's see. WrestleMania 21. And lastly, the WWE poster. There you go. There's that. Here, let's see. I don't really know where the train machine. No, let's see. Sound system. There we go. Get that sound system in there. There we go. Say that one more time and then we can go ahead and start. Alright. Now I'm pretty sure they're going to put me in uh, Triple H in another tag team match. Or at least put me in another tag team match. going on here it's the rated R superstar edge oh what's about to happen you know normally I'd come out here on Raw in front of the entire world flash this world heavyweight title and once again make clear to all you people all the 
people watching at home and all the guys in the back that I am the best in the business. And he is that damn good, obviously. Yeah, that's what I normally do. And whether you love it or you hate it, you all tune in to see it. But that's not gonna happen tonight. See, last week, two gutless nobodies from SmackDown thought they could come to Raw and take out Triple H and Ric Flair. The two greatest champions this business has ever seen. That's right. But just like everything SmackDown does, they only got it half right, as you can see. I'm still standing. Well, thank goodness for that. But Ric Flair was mm -hmm. not so lucky. John Cena crossed his larynx with that chain. And Big Show nearly broke his damn neck with that choke slam. Badly. Look at this man. He can't style. Hell, he can barely profile. Cena, Big Show. I don't care who you are or where you come from. You do not lay your hand on this man. This man is a 16 time world. There you go, 16. 16 time. I call shenanigans. He's a kiss dealer. Willing, dealing. Son of a gun. <laughs> Willing, dealing. Son of a gun. Am I on TV? Look, really looking at what uh, people are um, holding up in their crowd signs. It's sad. But first, here comes all the Canaanites. Standing on their feet for the big red machine cane. It's like an um, attitude error and um, ruthless aggression type of error still. Well, yeah. Triple H, I guess you've got some idea how I felt when you and Flair took out Shelton Benjamin two weeks ago. That's a completely different story. They really got uh, Kane's voice all different. Got what was coming to him. John Cena and the Big Show had no business with me or you or the Nature Boy. And speaking of you, I just about had it with yours. Uh oh. It's Bischoff and better than ever without the hair. Uh oh, it cut off. Hold that thought, Triple H. You two had better get on the same page because I'm not going to stand for SmackDown superstars evading my show. By the authority of the board of directors, we're going to have a sanction match against them next week at SummerSlam. Oh boy, this is going to get interesting by the minute. Now, I mean, Triple H got tagged at uh, SummerSlam. And obviously, we get no rewards because there was no match. Alrighty guys, let's keep moving. And speaking of which, it's the big red machine. Kane. Prost my man Kane out here. Hello and welcome to another edition of SmackDown. I'm Michael Cole along with Taz and Parker. It's John Cena. Dr. Thugonomics. War of Life. And the Big Show. Support the truth. Hey, I see Vince for president. That could happen. It could possibly happen. I mean, if you guys think about it. And before I get to that, it says match of the year. I don't know what you mean by that, because there is no match of the year. But hold on, before I get to that. I 
I remember, um... I remember from uh, the Attitude Era, I think The Rock did the same impersonation of Triple H, but I think he did it a lot better. Um, that was bad. <laughs> I'm gonna just say that that was bad. They should call you Father Time. That was bad. I'm sorry. But seriously, yo, no one can say that SmackDown didn't make an impact on Raw last Monday. We did just what we wanted to, and that was punk out the best that they got. Let's see now. Ten for Triple H. <laughs> Sixteen for Flair. I seen the shit your mouth. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's go, Triple H. Uh oh, it's about to be it's about to be turned into a match now. Oh, I see sexy boy, Shawn Michaels. H B K. I swear to God, I feel like one of these days Triple H is just gonna turn on me. Uh-uh. Oh, God. This ain't good. Ah! Get off of me. No. There we go, that's how you get out. Nice, I'm trying to remember how to play. If I had to pick only one reason why I <laughs> what a chair shot. Hey, big shot. Uh, smack him in the face with cheer. Sit down, big show. How much longer are these superstars gonna be able to keep? I'm not gonna fall. I got the ring though. Get away from John Cena for a bit. There we go. Till the big show's time. Ugh, big smack. Oh god. I don't know. What the world? How, how did that happen? Ow. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 There we go. Get off me. Mm. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, get in here. Come on. What an incredible match we've seen so far. 
gotta smack him in the face again. Come on, Big Show. I got something for you too. Get in here. Come on. Smack the vicious face. Oh no. Oh god. Look out! The referee's been knocked out! And this is where things start getting a little bit. No way, Bucko. You seen him. Pink! A smack in the face again. A choke slam is coming for you. Oh boom boom. One. Come on, get back in here. Nope. I'll get this two by four. Really? I'm getting tired of y'all grabbing these weapons. I swear. AIs do this all the time. Oh my god! Ow. Oops, did not mean to do that. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I did not mean to do that at all. Bink! It's time for the DDT. <laughs> and in the words of my boy, uh, young boy 11, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Ooh, snap, what a hit. Ow. Oh, God. Say, say, say. See, it's been busted open. Oh, wow, right? If you see him pinning. Wow. It's time for the tombstone. Come on, ref. No, Triple H. Uh. Oh god. Ooh boy. Not today. Oh no, he's looking for a weapon. This could cause a serious injury. I don't think so. Nope. That's right. Woo! Woo, we got him just in the nick of time. Kane. Oh. That's right. We win again, boys. We win again. Alrighty. Woo. Perfect. Whew. I really thought that was going to be difficult, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. If you're using weapons, it's not too bad. It's not too, too bad. Sorry, guys. Need All right. Rey Mysterio, six one nine. What's about to happen now? In the locker room, here's Kane again. Hey, look, man. I understand where you 
teaming up with Triple H tonight. John Cena and Big Show have got to be taught a lesson. And you guys owe them. But don't get too cozy with them. I'll be back on Raw tomorrow. And I've got some unfinished business with Triple H and Ric Flair that I plan to take care of. You know I respect you. And I hope you've got my back the way I had yours. But if you let them punk me out, you'll be making a big mistake. Okay. You talk to the big red monster, buddy. Right now, I've got to focus on Cena and show. Hey, you're talking to the big red machine here, buddy. Making a big mistake. you going to make a big mistake if you try to do anything to me. You forget. I am the demon, Kane. So, it's going to be John Cena and Big Show against Triple H and Kane. Alrighty, let's do this. Ray Mysterio. Ayo Holmes. Mysterio. Alright, SummerSlam. Oh wow. Alrighty. It's the World Heavyweight Champion. World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H. That Ric Flair would be on the side, but I guess not. It's the Big Red Machine on SummerSlam. Love the Titan Tron. I actually love the whole SummerSlam thing. It's perfect. This kind of takes me back to when um, Kane fought his uh, his imposter self at SummerSlam. Not SummerSlam, but Vengeance. I don't know why I said SummerSlam, but Vengeance. That I can all, I will always remember, and it was one of the best storylines. Um, and I know I might have mentioned it in one of my previous videos. When I was talking about the uh, the Kane and Kane match, I didn't really like how they, I guess, did the suit for Kane. It wasn't really the best. I mean, I get the whole double sleeve attire. I get that. But um, I was like, if they would have made the suit look a little bit more realistic, like the one that Kane actually wore, then it would have been a lot better. And I believe this is when John Cena changed his whole um, theme song. No more work life. It's uh, can't see me now. Or my time is now. Is what I'm to say. Yeah, my time is now. So next person is the Big Show. Not now. There we go. All right. Didn't really need to watch Big Show's entrance. Not worth it. Not really all that worth it. All right, so tag partner controls up to attack tag partner. Uh, L and down to attack legal opponent. Come on, Triple H. There we go. Here comes Kane. Side slam. <laughs> Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't get your red and white. Don't get your black and white panties in a wad. 
Take that, Big Show. Jeez, Triple H. No, sir. There aren't many superstars as diversely talented as John Cena. He's as good in the ring as he is on the microphone. He countered that one perfectly. Whoops. Boy, this John Cena is his own biggest fan. Okay, I'm trying to help him out. He's a slippery devil. See, look, he's already on color anyways. Because it has to happen. Come on, JR. You know that the referee's health plan doesn't include vision. No, you don't. Come on, Cena. These superstars are in terrific shape, and that comes as no surprise whatsoever. No kidding. If you don't have that conditioning, you're not going to last long in a match. You don't you? Reduce your arm. And <gasps> this is a tough hole to break. It's sure is a tough hole to break. It sure is a tough hole to break. And even if you break the hole, it takes its toll on you. He's obviously not feeling too threatened, JR. Yeah, stay down. We're running by count out because of nature boy. All right, well, I guess we won by ring out because of nature boy. Good job, nicely done, Nietzsche. Nicely done. Good job. Get your revenge, buddy. Get your revenge. And that's how we win at SummerSlam. He said after. Yeah, I told you it was gonna happen after. Kane, don't do nothing. Leave him alone. I let you do your personal business, buddy. I let you do what you had to do, okay? I let you do what you needed to do. All right, so we got some uh, some money after winning at SummerSlam against uh, John Cena and the Big Show in a no sanction, an unsanctioned um, tag team match. So there's that. What a great match at SummerSlam that was. We can do, we'll do one more match and then um, probably be finished. Alright, let's see what we got here. It's Kane. Triple H and Flair. I called you out here tonight on Raw because I want to give you a very rare and valuable present. And it's about to be bad. Oh, it's about to be bad. Imagine celebrating your birthday with Triple H, JR. That's gotta be great. I'm pretty sure it's not his birthday. And I for damn sure seen the kind of presents that Triple H gives out. Not good. For me to you. For 
The second one's not gonna be as bad because the second one's gonna be bad. Second, he's probably about to hit me. So that's one. And now that that's out of the way, here's number two. About to hit me for Last night at SummerSlam, you didn't do a damn thing when Shelton Benjamin ran into the ring and attacked Ric Flair and I with a steel chair. So he was answering. Normally, that's the kind of mistake a guy like me would make sure a guy like you regret it for the rest of his life. Knowing oh, him and Kane yeah, had some, uh, you know, history. So your second president? A free pass out of my ring and out of my life. But I'm warning you, this is a one-time offer. So don't blow it. Do the right thing, and don't step between Shelton Benjamin and the ass kicking he's going to get tonight. Triple H let him off the hook, JR. If he were do the right thing. That sounds like that definitely sounds like something Triple H would tell Kane. Especially during the Attitude Era when you know they had Kane the way he was. So, let's see. Uh, tonight's main event is a non-title match featuring Shelton Benjamin versus Triple H. Man, if I were Flair, do you choose to manage Shelton Benjamin in order to even the odds? Or stay out of it or remain backstage? Ooh, man. I don't even remember what I did the last time when I played this. So, this one's bad. This is going to be bad. Ooh, I don't know, guys. I'm kind of nervous. Should I manage Shelton Benjamin? And even the odds. Even though he didn't attack me, he did not attack me when um, he hit Triple H and Flair with the chair. He didn't even manage to hit me, so I could do that. Or I could take Triple H's offer, stay out of this, and remain backstage. Because I feel like he's going to put me out of my misery. But you know what? I don't care. I'm going to help Shelton Benjamin. We're going to even the odds out. I'm going to make sure that Triple H gets what's coming to him. I will be in there. I'm going to manage. Whatever happens, happens. But I'm doing this out of um, spite of Triple H because... I had his back at SummerSlam, but normally I don't trust Triple H at all because he'd be the one to uh, stab somebody in the back. And Kane's not really a big fan of Triple H anyways. So, there's that for you. Continental Champion Shelton Benjamin. Alrighty. This could definitely help him out if I help him, you know, win his match against Triple H, which we're bound to do. Um, we're actually going to, you know, continue on after this. So I'm not going to stop after this match. So. Let's start. All right, Shelton. There you go. You know, JR, I wrecked my brain. Oh, okay, I was about to say, how do I taunt again? I forgot. Can you capitalize on it? So who do you think is going to win this match, JR? I'm not even going to hazard a guess at the Oh, okay, Flair. I wasn't trying to hit you. I think 
Triple H might be the greatest superstar of his generation. That's for hitting me. You want, but it's not going to win you the match. No, but getting the crowd behind you can certainly give you the edge. Make sure that that goes away. You got to slow it down a bit. There we go. There you go. Make sure it doesn't happen at all. Shut up, Flair. In the power bomb. Yeah, take this flare. There we go. Much better. At its finest. I'm not done with you, Flair. Come here. Bing. Off the pole. Where are you going, Triple H? I don't think so. Ugh, he gives me out some yellow cheese. Sorry, Shelton. I'm sorry for hitting you. Really not trying to hit you. Just trying to get Triple H for trying to beat you up. Need you to get on your A game. One more time, y'all. I truly believe there's no stopping this phenomenal young superstar. I think Shelton Vince, it's like he read his opponent's mind. One. Remind me to never try and step between these guys, JR. Two. That would be hazardous to your health for sure, King. Three. He yeah, take that flare. We gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta do what we gotta do. The big red machine is about to go insane. Bounces it off the chew. Met off the thing. Mmm. Tombstone. Ooh, he walked right into that boot. Nope. Nope. Damn. Hey, you got him on cheese. I can't remember the last time I saw superstars this fired up. I don't think they've even considered the possibility that they might not win this thing. There's an awful lot of pride on the line here, King. No one in that ring wants to have to go back to the locker room as a loser. Three. Which way this one's 
I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR, but I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first. And Lord knows it's been up there for so long that that One more time. Time for our tombstone to be delivered. Sorry, ref. Right now, I'm getting involved. He oh, there we go. Come on, Shelton. Come on, Shelton. Come on. Come on, Shelton. You got this. Come on. Come on. Keep beating him up. Wait, I'm not doing shit yet, Flair. Punch him, punch him, punch him, punch him, punch him. Sorry. Come on, Flair. No, he won't. One more tombstone for you, sir. Ready. He, oh, there's a tombstone and he's busted open. There you go. That flare. It looks like one, two, stay there. Oh man. Wow. What's he gonna do? He goes suplex. My God, what speed? What power? Come on, Shelton. Come on. There you go. Two. Oh man, that was almost three, JR. Sounds like this crowd's got something on their minds, King. Don't you worry, I got you. Unchoke slam. Yeah, that should help. That ought to do it. There you go. Do not get to go anywhere. There you go, come on, he's striking. Pin the man if you got to, pin him. Or put him in submission, do whatever you gotta do. He's about to submit anyways, come on. Wow, he has have oh, so close. Come 
Jamal, you got it. You think these fans have gotten their money's worth tonight, JR? If they haven't yet, nope. I'm not sure don't think so. By the end of this day. Well, I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. I don't think there's going to be anything left of these superstars by the time they're done. There may not be. They may well annihilate each other here tonight. Three. And uh, a little something for the fans. The best superstars never uh, ignore their fans. No. Finish off their day instead of giving them time to recover. Seven. Get in there. What a reversal. Whoops. Count ref one. Yes, he did it. All right, Shelton. Good job. Nicely done. We did it. Ooh, all right, Shelton. Nicely done, Shelton. Did it. And of course, this is where things probably gonna get bad. Um, I don't know what to say. But all right, guys. This that was it right there. I figure we'll stop right there. The only thing we can think about was is what's about to happen. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I'm kind of uh, anxious to see what's gonna end up happening. But anyways, this has been cosplay adaptation to evolution. And yes, we will have some more um, season mode for you guys. We're going to be doing some other stuff too as well with this game as well as every other game. So it's just a lot of stuff to do. So, um, you know, my mind's not completely blank. There's always some creative stuff going on around my mind. But anyways, yes, this has been Cosplay A to E. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you want to get more content like this. Cosplay content and more Kane content. Like this video if you uh, like what you see. I know the recording is probably not all that great because, you know, I got to move my camera around and all that stuff. But, like I said, that's just what I got to do in order to get what I need until I get my capture card. Which should be here, like I said, about a week from now. If not next week. So, um, yeah. So, that's all I got for you guys. So, I'll see you guys in the next video for now, next week. Peace.